All right, deck intro time. And this time, we're showing why Magtheridon is a 5-star card. So the goal of this combo is to give the opponent 7 dormant Magtheridons, thus effectively locking them out of the game. So we do that by first drawing out our entire deck. Then we play Magtheridon. Then we have to destroy the 1-3 enemy orders, and we typically do that by having a Shadow Blade equipped, and then playing Blade Flurry. So once those are destroyed, the entire board is destroyed along with it. Then we play Double Augmented Elec, and we put a Shadow of Death on the Magtheridon. And finally, we play King Togwaggle. So when we end our turn, the opponent is forced to draw all of the shadows and will summon seven dormant Magtheridons. So assuming we need the Blade Flurry to clear the board, this is a six card, 26 mana combo. So we need triple Emperor Thoris and discounts to make this work. And we do that with Zola Emperor Thorisan and Drakari Enchanter Emperor Thorisan. One potential problem with this combo is that after we play King Togwaggle, the opponent does have the ability to swap their deck back, which would leave us with the empty deck and we would possibly die to fatigue. But that's why we've added Academic Espionage, so we can refill our deck and use those cards to kill the opponent. But as you'll see in the game you're about to watch, that didn't quite go according to plan. <laughs> so I think that's pretty much it for the deck intro this time, guys. This combo was so incredibly difficult that it broke my spirit. So fair warning, there is some salt ahead. And if you're crazy enough to try this deck, best of luck to you, you're gonna need it, and thanks so much for watching. Alrighty, another priest. We played overwhelmingly priest today, which is in interesting. Uh, 28%. Next highest is a mage at 21%. People like their priest. It's a pretty good hand, actually. Promising. Could still be quest, unfortunately. But let's hope not. Let's hope he's something fun. Like Benedictus or something. The priest. Something stupid. <laughs> Can we get a stupid deck in here, please? One stupid deck. I'm not gonna hit him. The two damage doesn't matter, so. Rather be sure. And considering we played like 90% Quest Priest today, I'm, I'm just gonna go ahead and assume he's still Quest Priest. Okay. I guess. That's kind of weird. Yeah, still not gonna hit him. Can Zilli X them? I have next turn if he doesn't trade, I guess. Oh, no matter what kind of priest you are, doesn't matter. You run that card. Just doesn't matter. Hey, did the best one. Great. <laughs> Great. I'm sure we won't be seeing Infiltrator anymore this game, so that's good. Killed it once, never gonna see it again. Good. He may not be like full on res priest because he's playing my Ev, which is obviously a very bad res target, but it doesn't matter. My opponents, they just play Psycho Pump and Mass Res and all that stuff anyway, so. <laughs> It doesn't matter. See, people play Northshire Cleric in Res Priest. Which makes no sense. But... Divine Spirit. Oh. Okay. What, face? Why would you go face there? <laughs> Serious question. Let's just trade across. It's fine. Keep the silly X alive. I only have well, I have three comp pieces in my hand. That's actually not too bad. So I'm missing Shadow of Death, Mag, Blade Flurry, 
That's it. For reduction purposes. It's not quest. He played the leftmost card as well, so. I can technically hit him in the face. Can't wait to die from random Galakron cards. No dragon. Okay. I don't have a great play next turn. I can play the taunt, but I don't need the heal. And it doesn't contest the 4-5 very well, so. Need cold light. <laughs> Need cold light ASAP. Or out of minstrels. Exactly what I mean. He's playing Katrina in this deck. Give him the one drop, please. No, of course not. Why, why would you give him the one drop? I don't know. Couldn't tell you. So tired of these players getting rewarded for their bad deck design and bad plays. It's just really, really frustrating. <sighs> Great. My shield for Argon. Traded. Okay. On wings of destruction they come. That's actually really good. My hand is full. Thank you. Is too full. Losing the espionage is pretty bad. Still not looking great, and the fact that I milled the uh, espionage is quite bad. Because if he has a board clear, I'm kind of screwed. So.
Okay. Try to do it next turn. On wings of destruction they come. Jerks. Your feeble magic amuses me. I'm almost out of cards. I'm out of cards. Okay. So I need what? One, two, three, four spaces. But it doesn't really matter because it's after the fact anyway. Okay. Let's give this a whirl. All right, let's do this. Release me, and I will grant you a merciful death. Don't be down. Hope he's not board clear. Problem is he can take his deck back here. That's really weird how two of them are gold. Why aren't the other ones gold? <laughs> it's a pretty weird visual bug. What if... I mean, that does nothing. He should swap his deck back. <laughs> Before clear the board. He didn't swap his deck back. That is kind of weird. <laughs> I blood be born again. Is mine. I would assume that means he doesn't have a board clear, but he should have swapped his deck back. Somehow. <laughs> we lost the espionage, but uh, with espionage that would have been a lot easier because he swaps back his deck, then we play the espionage, and then we hopefully win the game from there. But yikes. <laughs> Good enough. <laughs>